The Wheat School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by CNMC, Syngenta Canada, and the Alberta Wheat Commission. Hi, I'm Bernard Tobin. Welcome to The Wheat School. On this episode, my guest is Sean Livingston from Precision Planting. I caught up with Sean earlier this year at the CNM Seeds Industry Day to talk about the future of precision planting wheat. Sean shares thoughts on seeding innovations and how those drills, often referred to as controlled spill devices, can evolve into controlled seeding machines. So Sean, first question for you, and that is, you know, how important is precision seeding to the future of wheat? You know, how can we improve that planting of the crop for growers? Well, I think there's lots of areas to improve the seed going in the ground. Um, you know, probably one of the biggest ones for me uh, with these drills and looking at winter wheat is the conditions that we typically, typically plant in in the fall uh, aren't usually as good as we'd like to be. So having technology added onto a drill, it doesn't eliminate the choice to go into unfavorable conditions, but it can help minimize the negative impact of that seed environment. Um, so the, the, the downforce control, uh, allowing the system to close properly, as well as I think precision seeding, the control of turning seed on and off when we want it, it is going to be critical as we go forward. Um, you know, just even for stuff like lodging, getting that over competition of of overpopulated areas out of the fields. And uh, and then, you know, we're, wheat is going down the same path as corn where, you know, we need to learn is variable rate worth it, different soil types and all that. And I think that's where precision uh, is going to really help the wheat industry move forward. Let's talk about corn and soybeans for a bit. I mean, like, so much information in the cab coming off the planter about how we plant corn and soybeans, you know? You know, are we looking at more technology in the wheat world and, you know, on the drill and on the planter? Um, there's, a, yes, we're, I don't think on a drill, I don't think we're nearly done. You know, today, uh, precision planting has product to measure the weight on the gauge wheels and control the system for downforce, whether it be on individual ranks or row by row control. Um, and I believe that that has really helped learn more and get the crop in the ground better. You know, understanding that we're seeing this front rank of this drill in front of us take considerable more weight to punch through the ground than the back rank. And then look at a drill that's 30, 40 feet wide, our wings take less weight to get in the ground than the middle section. And, and that technology is there, but now we're moving forward on getting better seed information back to us. What are these meters doing and how are they delivering seed to the ground? Um, so I don't think on, on drills, I think we're just at the tip of the iceberg on what precision can do to maybe help make these a little better. And what are those big challenges, you know, um, from a drill perspective, Sean, that, 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 that they pose for precision planning? Um, probably the big, biggest challenge is just uh, learning more about them. Um, you know, the downforce control is something that we knew from corn planters that was a huge agronomic impact for farmers. Um, you know, now we're looking at at the seed distribution, let's call it. Um, so, you know, we've got challenges to learn. Let's use this box drill, for example, here. We see a different flow rate of seed when this drill is full versus where it's empty. Well, now that, that uniformity change, we need to identify, is there an agronomic impact to that? Um, and then just the fact that, you know, like, like corn planters, there's multiple different manufacturers of drills and they each have a unique uh, situation going on that we need to learn more about and identify where the problems are to, to help develop a product for that. Um, you know, and then I think the bigger challenge with drills today, especially in the wheat crop, is just the conversation with the growers about how much opportunity there is for ROI in grains by looking at 
the, the equipment that they're planting with. Yeah. Hey, uh, you know, in, in general, I mean, it's, it's a big question. You know, can we adopt these control spill devices and, and turn them into control CD machines? I believe we can. Um, you, you know, you, you hit it right on the head. We've called these controlled spills for years. Um, you know, example for this drill, with the slide gate on the front to set our population or our seed flow, you know, a grower that just takes the handle and moves from 50 to 55, the gate's not actually opening. He needs to go up to 70 and then back down, but a lot of growers don't do that. So there is still opportunity for, for companies like Precision Planting to develop more product to control this spill better. Final question for you, and that is, you know, building on that, you know, what type of technology do companies like Precision Planting and others, um, will they bring to the market in the years ahead without you know, giving away any state secrets? <laughs> um, <clears throat> you know, for Precision, uh, we adapted this year to, to different software for reading the seed sensors. Um, that's really helped us learn more about these drills. There's a couple of other sensors on the market that we are working on to learn more about. Um, but, you know, agronomically with these drills, uh, uh, seed delivery, um, control of turning them on and off, uh, and, and more research needs to be done on the closing systems, I believe. Um, you know, I, I think that those are the biggest agronomic advancements that we can bring to growers for the future for these drills. Mm -hmm. Well, Sean, hey, great to have you on the Wheat School. Uh, much appreciated. Thanks for talking by. Thank you very much.